you ought to be a boy scout. You're a fine looking fellow and I know you would make a jolly good backwoodsman by the look of you. You're ugly enough anyway. And you girl there, no I don't mean you, I mean the pretty one behind you. You ought to be a girl guide, you know. Oh, you are one. Oh, I beg your pardon. That's quite right. Now go on and tell all your pals to come and be girl guides like you. I'm very glad to see you there. Thank you all. Good luck to you. And I wish we may meet. The Boy Scouts movement was founded by Robert Baden Powell in Britain in the year 1908 and has since become the largest youth organization in the world. Well, basically, the scout movement began uh, a little bit over than 100 years ago with a guy named, with a guy named um, Robert Baden Powell. Basically, he was a, a British general. He fought in, in a lot of wars and back at the end of the 19th century. And basically, the scout movement began when he found that when he, whenever he leave a task on young people, young men, they put a lot of effort on doing it. Um, some people say that scouts began that like a war movement, but actually it's not about war, it's about making the life of everybody else better, helping other people, not fighting with other people, just help, you know. I joined the movement when I was nine years old, after my brother introduced me to Scout Group 51 which is where I would meet what today are my closest friends. Within the group I was in, there were four total branches, or H divisions. The Cubs, where is where I initially began, who were kids of 7 to 11 years of age. The Troop, ages 12 to 15, Walkers, ages 16 to 17, and Rover Scouts, ages 18 to 21, which is where I stand today. Ever since I began my journey in the Scouts movement, I have made close friends, learned about leadership skills, and also to use my head to solve a problem whenever I face one. They are my best friends, almost family for me. They've been with me on uh, very difficult moments for me, you know. Um, also, it means a lot because you learn a lot of stuff that I believe everybody should learn but that nobody does if they're not scouts. It's like a, uh, something that complements yourself, something besides the school, besides the home, um, stuff that you learn only at the scout movement, such as leadership, teamwork, uh, critical thinking, thinking outside of the box. Uh. I share a similar perspective with my brother. For me, the Boy Scouts movement, more specifically Group 51, has become more than friends to me. They have become my second family. As a part of the movement, kids, teenagers, and even adults are able to see everyone as a friend and every scout as a brother or a sister. In addition, we are able to compete against other groups and amongst ourselves as well. In many, but not limited to, physical competitions, thinking and mental activities, Morse code, knots, semaphore, and many other skills. There are many rules that a scout must follow. Some include being friendly to others, regardless of race, gender, or creed, and take care of the nature. Finally, I have a phrase that I want to share with you guys, which is also my favorite phrase of all in the world. It was said by the founder of the Scouts movement, Robert Baden Powell. Leave the world in better conditions than how you first found it. <laughs>